share it with your neighbors. If you can afford to invite them to iftar to your house, that's a good thing. Sometimes we just say hi to the neighbors. Only when we take the trash cans outside and they are taking it, hey, hi, how are you? That's the only opportunity. This time, let's do something else and tell them, come and share and try to speak about Ramadan, your really open up to them, let them see your, the truth about you. You are not hiding something. Say, yes, I'm sorry for what is happening, but I'm not responsible. There are some thugs, thugs who usurp the wealth of our ummah, and they sit with another person who goes from here just to milk them. He milked them $480 billion in one day. $480 billion. Last Saturday, I was visiting some Saudi students from the Eastern province who graduated from Chico State University. They invited me. They said, say it. They cut our salaries to half, 50%, rather than giving this money to their students, to their children, to excel, to study, to thrive, to prosper. They give it to someone who, whose business and his talent is just to milk people. This is not our own problem, but we have to speak about it. We have to enlighten and educate people. Speak about it day and night. Day and night. Say it to your neighbors. Let them see what is happening within Islam. Let them see that those political leaders are only murderers and thugs. They are not working for their nations and for, for, for their people. They are working for their seats and the thrones to stay in power longer and longer and longer. So let's share the beauty of Ramadan. If we can invite them to our masajid, we must. In this Ramadan, I'm going to visit many synagogues and churches and the police department and the mayor's office to speak. This is what I can do. I can't afford more than that. What I can afford is to tell them, this is not in the name of my religion. What is happening in Manchester and other places, the bombings, terrorism, this does not represent the true spirit of our Prophet and Ahlul Bayt. This is not the spirit of this book. These are not the teachings of our book. So let's share. Let's share your iftar. Invite them. If you can't invite them to your house, bring them to the masjid and tell us here. Tell the administration that we have guests so we can take care of them. Many people are going to visit us. One of them is the sheriff of Orange County. She said, she wants to visit our masjid this season. We welcome her and we welcome all the neighbors. We have to be open. We have to share the beauty and piety of Ramadan, the spirit of Ramadan with others. This is the least we can do for our Islam and for our America. The least. So do not stay away. Don't say, I want to focus on my Ramadan, I have nothing to do with neighbors and community members. No, please open up. Please reach out. One of the important messages of Ramadan is to reach out to others and show them the goodness of your faith. Invite them to Islam. Invite them to your house, invite them to your local masjid. Bring them here. We can't change the whole world, but we can change a few people here and there, which is enough, good enough. And I invite you to be here, inshallah, participate. If you have not participated in the past, now it is the season that we go to the masjid more and more. To strengthen, to strengthen the spirit of community and togetherness. Here, we have to hold back hold each other's back in America. We have to support each other. And I take this opportunity to call upon our Sunni brothers and sisters and friends and neighbors. We open our hearts to you. Anytime you want to come here, this is feel free, this is your masjid. Day one when we established this, I said this masjid is not only for Shia, not only for Iranians, not only for Arabs. This masjid is for all the humans, even if they are Christians and non-Muslims. They are welcome to come here. And they should feel free and honored and welcomed and respected. 
when they come to the house of God. For this house does not belong to a person or a group. The true masjid belongs to God. And all the people also belong to God. So they have, they have this ownership. In every temple, in every masjid, they should have this sense of belonging and sense of ownership. I was going to recite the khutbah of the Prophet وسلم, just two lines of this khutbah in Ramadan. فَاسْأَلُ اللَّهَ رَبَّكُمْ بِنِيَّاتٍ صَادِقَةٍ Take advantage of this month and ask your Lord with true intentions, niyatin sadiqa wa qulubin tahira, pure hearts, an yuwaffidakum li siyamihi wa tilawati kitabi. So you are able to fast from tomorrow, Saturday, until the end of the month. You fast this month and you recite the book of God. فَإِنَّ الشَّقِي The misfortune is the one. Who is he? فَإِنَّ الشَّقِيَ مَنْ حُرِمَ غُفْرَانَ اللَّهِ فِي هَذَا الشَّهْرِ الْعَظِيمِ The real loser, the real, the real person who is unfortunate is the one who does not receive God's forgiveness by the end of this month. So we have to strive to be, inshallah, in the list of those who have received Allah's mercy and Allah's pardon and Allah's forgiveness in this month. Allahumma akhfar lil mu'mineen wal mu'minat wal muslimin wal muslimat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat tabi'i allahumma baynana wa baynahum bil khayrat